Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and fish. Maybe some dogs and cats. Mm, guinea fowl, probably. I don't know. Maybe a chicken or two. Whoever's watching, good morning. Or night, or afternoon, or tomorrow, or wherever it is. Whatever time it is for you. I welcome you to another session of Oxygen Not Included with extra oxygen from our lovely oxygen machine over here in the uh, in the corner. This little thing, savoring away making oxygen. Well, it's currently run out of water to make oxygen with, but that doesn't bother us. We go into the gas overlay. We've got 15,000 kilos of, per tile of oxygen to play with. And nearly 6,000, 5,659 kilos per tile of hydrogen. I find that to be rather plentiful supply. I don't know what this thing is moaning about. He's making up oxygen. Oh no. Okay. So this thrilling episode, we're going to lob a duplicate in here. We're going to crew up. Who are we going to crew up for this? We're going to crew up. Are we going to crew early? Or... Oh, I think we're taking bubbles off of this one. We're going to send Ellie. She, she's just like, you know, she's done all the work before. She knows where it's at. Before we send Ali, let's check out skills. Mm. Got suit wearing, rocket piloting. She'll need diamond and obsidian, I think. But she can definitely do. Mm. She can do what we want her to do. Yeah, I think we're good. Can't do mechatronics. Hmm. Is that a problem? Do I care? Do I look like Ikea? Ah. Now let's load her up. And before we send her, if I click on this, I see there's an artifact there. Tornado rock. Let's remove that. That can fall down and be collected and, you know, discovered what it is. Uncovered from its entombment. Oh, well. Let's change the destination, shall we? Rather wait for it. Um, Ellie to show up. Oh, there she is, I think. Let's, uh, let's send her to the, uh, no rocket platform there, but we can still go. Uh, yeah, let's just go there. She's on board. She's on the correct rocket. She's got one with a rover module and a trailblazer. As soon as this uh, door automatically finishes opening, Yeah, we could have just stopped it from doing that, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, doing all four, five doors. If we were to put um, Robo Blasters in, then maybe I'd definitely have to change things, but uh, yeah. They've, they've made it so that Robo Blasters can now shoot through doors. Here it goes. Rocket takeoff time. Oh, that um thing has already been taken. One's already off skid with it. Bye, rocket. Have fun. Enjoy. See you later. Let's watch the automation change back. Boom. That now goes green. It goes red, the uh, 
gentries all extend. And the doors automatically start to close again. That's wonderful. So what can we do here? We will pop onto our rocket base station L. View the interior. We'll tell Ali to unequip her suit just so we can have a look at it. That most suit eighty three percent. Now that's good. I'd prefer we had more, but no, we don't. So all I've got to do is remember to stick her back in her suit before she drops down to the planet's surface. As otherwise, she'll have to hold her breath for a very long time. That might not be a good idea. Always when I start a new from save, it always ends up on the top of the doors. That chunk. There's a few... Uh, we can throw um, bubbles in one of the rockets and send her off as well. Go to the star map and see what we've uncovered so far. There's a patch of, uh, of places there that we haven't had a look at. All of that's been examined. There's a few over here we might be able to get to. And there's two there. And a few behind the tear here. Hmm. Find carbon and coal. Yeah, useless. Hydrogen, natural gas, and methane. Hmm. That could be interesting, I suppose. There's a destroyed satellite. And slime. If you're running out of dirt, that could be useful. Uh, coal, wolframite, tungsten. Carbon dioxide. There's a lot of wolframite there, which is nice. 50%. Carbon's not bad. I'm just looking for one we might be able to automate a rocket there and back or something. I'm not sure. Something within range. Hydrogen and water. So you could just send a vehicle with no liquid capacity, only gas. You come back with a hydrogen, guaranteed. Crude oil, carbon dioxide, and methane. Similar with this, I think you could just send a liquid one and those to a solid form, according to the pictures. So. Yeah, methane solid. No. Oh, that just buzzed me into the other view. It did. There's a radioactive gas cloud. Uranium ore in it. And liquid carbon dioxide and chlorine. I think that's a liquid. Is that going to change me? No, that's a gas. So if you sent a solid only transport, you'd come back with uranium ore. That's quite nice. But it's also quite far from us. So yeah, we could set a I think we'll just get these this little triangle examined. That might be nice. Um view the interior, make sure everything's set up. Got a bed. Got a table. Aren't you supposed to have a... Uh, no, it is a mess hall. Okay. There's supposed to be um, red pills in here, but there aren't. Hmm, doesn't that include fridges then? These symbols? Or maybe I've um, suspended them. Okay. There's nothing in there, so that means we need to go to Lavini and make some more, because I didn't put it on auto. Make another, like, 99 of them or something. Yeah, that seems legit. Hey, are you done yet? Can you come out of there? 
You got 12 athletics, 20 science, uh, 20 machinery, 12 athletics. I might stick you in a. How many skill points do you have? Hmm. Nutrient bars. I won't get them here. Uh, I want to check skills for BLS. Where is BLS? Uh, there you are. Renvoy. <laughs> yeah, because he used to be a Ren. Uh, so you have now got 10 points to spend. Hmm. You like rocket, uh, um, rocket piloting in suits. You might end up becoming a pilot. Dump me on a rocket. Oh, that's right. Let's go to Grosselin. The land of the hungry, hungry tree. This is completely filled up with, uh, looted again. Oh, well. This is filling up. I don't think that's draining, is it? Here's a blueprint. Nutrient bars print. Maybe I should put them in there and feed them to the tree, right? Bit of oxalite coming through the system. <laughs> Automatically. Ready for when we uh, come back. If we come back. Let's check. Is this... um? dormant now yeah I don't think it's getting hot enough oh it is no it's not it's 131 got this set to 135 so if I come up here and I check how much this is on 30 kilos so if I drop that down to 10 a tiny amount and then I go to here and I make that 130 that should now send a green signal up. Powering that on. Should allow a single packet of resin to come down. And we'll see if it's hot enough. Pop that single packet into ISO resin. Come on, let me click. There it is. It should just drop here. And if it's hot enough, you won't even see it form a liquid. There it is. Iso resin being popped in there. And the extra steam pressure. Might as well take advantage of the aqua tuna running. And if it can only get it to 131, we need to lower that to 130. I mean, when the aqua tuna's finished trying to cool this loop down, that, well, this pool of water. Realise I should have just lowered that tank down to the floor. Should have just put it down, but I guess with the pipes running through it's easier actually to leave it like this. We've managed to cool this entire pool down quite a lot. That's pretty impressive, I think. Now if we're gonna be able to run um run some ISO resin down. We'll go back up here then, and we'll, we'll we'll pump that up to 20, I think. I think you can probably handle it. I think when you change the amount, it also triggers it or something. I don't know. Or did it just trigger? Yeah, we could have had loads of these sat down this. <laughs> we could have another three there. We could have had it running all the time. I think a couple of babies have hatched. Dust caps are growing. I think we should set this uh, eggshell just to have it removed from the room. Well... It is what can be reached. Okay, fair enough, you can't. You should be picking the eggshell up then. Or is that set to... Um... Ah, okay, fair enough. It was on sweep only. 
And the polluted dirt can go in there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it can't reach any further than that, unfortunately. We could poke ourselves in the other side and put another sweeper there. That'd be lovely. Okay. Pleased with that. That's all just working all by itself. Here comes a bit more food. This is going to get packed in there. This thing's fully charged. Fully uh, red bolted up, ready to go. There's no storage for red bolts. What I should have done before I'd left would have been a clever thing to do. Ooh, here's some bog jelly. What would have been good is if we'd used the uh, output on here that says when a red bolt storage is full. You don't have to power this anymore. So we could have literally turned off the power to these Red Bolt generators. If we send someone back, we'll do that. Let's uh, pop to here. I don't know where our rocket is. Our Intrepid Explorer. And I think we'll send... We go to there, my my pen, and scan. Oh, sorry, right. Go here. Go change destination. That's eight out of ten tiles, and that should be close enough to get all of that. And then go there. Boom. Change the crew. Bubbles. And nobody else is selected. Nobody else is on there. Right. Well, Ellie's on there. Let's turn Ellie off. And then let's crew up. This time it says automation control down here. So it should work correctly. Rocket. It is now connected through here. To the middle space scanner. I've changed how they do the space scanners, but as long as it can see a bit of the sky, it's just going to say when the rocket comes back, so it can open the doors when the rocket that it's related to comes back. The top one just opens this when it closes it when there's a shower, and uh, these two are for these two rockets. Need another one if we're going to do this rocket. I'd like to put it underneath here, but to be honest, it's getting a bit far away. You keep running long cables. A bit weird. This automation should flick. If it's a uh, clear launch path, yeah, the doors will be opening then. Oh, they're not. Something's wrong with the automations. Hey, didn't you get refueled? Uh, in that case. Let's let you out. And we'll just check what's going on here because there's something not quite right. 50 kilos. Ah, uh, that did not get refueled. I thought it did. I swear I watched it refuel. It refueled that one and that one. And then moved on. That can be a little bit can go because it's annoying me forgetting to do that. Let's do it while it's not right. Okay, liquid. Uh, actually, automation. We want to make this trigger, don't we? How did we do it last time? I think we just snipperooed it, didn't we? Reconnected it so it goes, Oh, yeah, the rocket on the platform. Let's refuel it. Wonder if that's why it didn't take off because it actually didn't have enough fuel to get there. That would be, yeah, it shouldn't have let me select it, should it? It didn't have enough fuel to get there. That's interesting.
I swear there's ghosts manipulating my game saves. Every time I log in, it feels like I have to redo something that I did at the end of the previous episode. Like it's not quite saving correctly. Loading in the wrong episode. It's only like a couple of jobs, not much. Even though I know it definitely saved it. Usually I'm hyper paranoid and I save it like three times <laughs> in case it didn't save right. There we go. The water should just flow straight through. That shouldn't be any problem. Maybe it did interfere when the second rocket landed. As, uh, yeah. Shouldn't take very long to fill. Pretty darn fast. Yeah, it's already like five hundred, six hundred kilos. Only got three hundred to go. Review interior. What are they doing currently? Ah, oh, they're bringing rad pills. I just set some more to be made. Which is good, because theoretically they shouldn't touch them. Once the rad pills are in there, they shouldn't take them out. What they were doing before was eating them all, because they were just sat on the floor. Well, this one's triggered and turned itself off, okay. So now this one should do the same. And this one's now using the pulse. I would like to see that work. We added that last time. Basically, because if this um, this is basically on all the time, there's petrol in this pipe going through. As soon as the sensor has done its five seconds, that's a lot of S's. I do apologise. Sounding quite sharp. Okay, so yeah, it will run for five seconds before it triggers. But when it does trigger, it triggers the entire time the petrol is in the pipe, and it was resetting that for the entire time. Which is wrong. You should only just go beep and reset it. That, that way, if another rocket was to land and trigger it, it would come on again. Right? That's the theory. So the, the water's about to hit this sensor. This thing, you can see it's moving. When this gets down to zero, that should pulse. Oh, and then that turns off. And now that is running. But if another rocket was to land right now, that would trigger that its rocket to go to a one and trigger that to come on again. That would still fill the second rocket. Theoretically. Until there's a gap in this of at least five seconds in this pipe. So it could turn that off and then back on again to make it flash again. Because that won't pulse. That's the good thing I like about that pulse extender, whatever you want to call it, pulse generator. It doesn't run until after it's gone off and then back on again. If you want it to just, uh, what's the word? If you want it to go on at the end when it turns off, if you want the pulse at the end when it turns off, then you just remove this not gate and plug it straight into there. You switch or whatever's triggering it. That's perfect for me. That works quite nicely. I have yet to see a situation, unless that managed to have two rockets land within five seconds of each other, then you could have a problem because you've got this five second boost on it, just in case there's an odd scrap of lob in the pipe that could reset things, just to prevent that. You could probably lower that to, say, three seconds. That'd probably be plenty. Oodles, oodles. Beautiful. Right, so let's buzz down here. Like Aldrin, we need to buzz. I just want to see if everything's going all right in here. As, yeah, that is up to a nine. That's nine. 
we moved all our uh, guys up to the top. I'm gonna sweep this crap and I wanna wanna move to cancel sweeping, move it to that please. Move that steel as well somewhere else. That can go out there. Now that means that the uh, pressure plate system is now gone and we're trying this out. Get rid of this. Hey, we have a rocket in orbit. So let's go to uh, Fregelia. See what we're going to do. This is we set up with the robot, but he's now died. That is low enough to take our rocket. We, we, but the robot couldn't build the fire pole or the rocket platform. I don't want the rocket platform this close to all this. I want it over here out of the way. So we're going to have to come in, build that, land the rocket, get on it, take off the rocket, go back home, and then come back again to dig all this out, unless we've got the right materials on said rocket. Let's check. We've got food. We know that. We've got oxalite. We know that. We've got to put Ellie. Oh, yeah, we nearly forgot. Put Ellie in her Atmo suit. Early in our Atmo suit, we're good. We've also got some stacks of oxalite that we could actually bring inside if we wanted. Put it on. Right, now here's the here's the risky bit. Um, should we drop the rover as well? I think I'll leave the rover for now. Because I can't really get in there and do... Oh, maybe they can. Yeah, let's let's drop the rover. Drop the rover. Where are we dropping the rover? Right there. Come on, rover. Oh, I just paused. <laughs> that won't help. <laughs> right, you can deconstruct that, please, rover. We'll go back to space station. And we will check uh, Ellie's schedule. Let's check Ellie's schedule. Where is Ellie? Are you still on the rocket schedule? Looks like she is. So I'm going to give her an extra work slot. Because she's about to drop down in the... Uh... Ellie the pilot, deploy. He's going to drop down right next to her rover friend. Got her suit on. But she's got to get this rocket platform built. Go on, Ellie. You can do it, mate. We don't want to get you killed. Pop. There comes Ellie. Go on, Ellie. Go build your things. Oh, that's right. Just build the most useful part first, won't you? Yeah, build that first. He can strike that rover there as well, please. Rover will get that job. And then Ellie will probably shimmy up that fire pole to get that top piece. We'll probably need that top piece on. Where are you going? Oh, you're picking some metal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Right. Now I want this bit of metal swept up um no move it to over here please then we'll tell our rocket to land while uh, she's out of the way i'm not going to get um cooked if we've put it in the right spot which we have otherwise it wouldn't be burning burning building yeah we've put it in the right spot look at that we had loads of space here it comes, here it comes. Why did it build so weirdly? Look at that, it's very odd. 
Now this I don't like, it's putting too much heat in this area. Now we can view the interior. And we can make this uh, none. No, no restrictions, Ali. You can, you can use that as much as you want. Now there is some igneous and some lime in here. Oh, they didn't sweep the lime out again. Okay, right, frigidaire. Wrapped. Right, you're trapped, are you? Uh, you've got access to your rocket now, haven't you? I just want to test that she can get in her rocket. No. Don't know if she can. All right, and we need to dig out some materials then. What's this? Granite. Dig out that granny granite, will you? Got to be relatively quick. Knock ourselves up a little granite ladder up here. Ladder. We've only got granite to make it out of, so let's go there, please. Even the rover can help build it. Be quick. Come on, chop chop. I'm sure you've got enough materials to build it. Just crack on. Because you need to get in there. Yeah, this doesn't look right at all, this fire pole, does it? Oh, yeah, she's gone up. Well, how come you can't go in your rocket then if I set it to crew? You wouldn't go in. And now she is. That's weird. I set it to crew. She should have got on board if she could get on. Let's uh, view the interior. Yeah, she's having lunch. I'll equip that suit then. Hello, Poisonita. How are you today? I hope you are well. It's uh Oh, oh where did Ellie go? Um, Ellie, I think you ought to put your suit on, mate. <laughs> she left. Yeah, you better put your suit on. Or work until your suit no longer is suitable, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, five cycle save game already. Crikey. It's a late game, a late night, so to speak, or early morning. Dream for me. It is now 7 a.m. We. Oh, right. Let's get back out there then, shall we? Uh, there's one more to build and uh, nobody's building it. A robot's building it. Okay, fair enough. Let's come and start digging then, shall we? Uh, we need some of this granite over there, I guess, to do, do what we want to do. We'll get rid of some of this. That will mean... Ah, oh, 8 a.m. Early morning watching. I'm early morning streaming and you're early morning watching. Ah. Come on then, Ellie. Or have you gone to bed now? Uh, I think she may have gone to bed. Um, if I lock this door, I make Ellie unequip the suit. You can go back to bed. Go on. Go back to bed. There we go. Right, when she wakes up, we'll make her put the suit back on. That way we can save as much oxygen as we possibly can in that suit. Right, where are you going? You sh shouldn't be allowed out. Ellie, put your suit on. Yeah. Putting the door this close to the main door doesn't seem to prevent access. Not Lavini, you muppet. Go to Fragilia. Poor old Rover. Yeah, you're going to stand there a bit, Rover, because there's not a lot you can really do. Not until 
how we've got into here. And that's going to take a bit of digging. Now that's seven wide, isn't it? Yeah, seven wide. Okay. I want to build this at least seven wide and one, two, three, four, five, six. And oh yeah, do we want to make it seven exactly or one extra? It's going to cost us in a lot of time of digging. Get down here. Come on, Ellie, dig on. You've only got a limited amount of uh, oxygen in that suit. We want to get as much done out of it as we possibly can. Rover can carry on once we've got into it and dug up some of this granite. Because even the rover can't dig granite. It's a bit faster to dig granite than it is to dig abyssalite. It might be easier just to dig all the way along. It's going to take an extra couple of digs. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. A little bit of extra speed of manufacture. We just need enough space here to move the the um, landing platform along a bit. Right, let's buzz along another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's the eight. Now if we could go down there on a slightly higher priority. We could get the rover building some ladders down there for us, couldn't we, rover? You know you want to. There you go. Now, she should do the digging because it's a higher priority and she's the only one who can do it. Now, rover can come and get some of this materials and start uh, building the ladder for us. That'd be useful. I think it's going to boil all the water in here, but no, I'm not bothered. That don't bother me at all. Boil all you like. Now, this is going to take a bit of micromanagement. Hopefully she's got a bit of oxygen in her suit to last a bit longer. Probably be a good idea to actually dig through there, and then the, at least the rover can carry on building the uh, carry on building the ladder if she has to leave suddenly because she's got no oxygen left. Yeah, because it can dig through, I think it can dig through sedimentary, it just can't dig through um, granite and obviously abyssalite and things like that. Right, I'd rather move it right close to the edge, but you know, time-wise, let's just get it done. Dig as much through as we possibly can. Until we have to leave. That'll be brilliant. Well done, you. Done a lot, didn't she? She's getting a bit sick, though. Look at her. She's going green slowly. <laughs> what happens when you dig rocket pit silos in other asteroids? I'm going to try a dig order there and see if the old rover can do it or not. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, he can. He can dig that. Can you dig the other one? Can you dig the other one, rover? Yes, you can. Oh, that's super dupers. Yeah, poor old, poor old air. <laughs> She's going green with every second. Oh, all right, Ellie. Never mind, Ellie. We're going to set that to granite and run that down to there, I guess. 
This ladder might just melt when the rocket's moved over, but never mind, eh? It does, it does. Come on, Ellie. I know it's um, not the best job in the universe, but get it done. Get it done. Right. And we are low enough. No, we're not low enough to build the rocket silo yet. It's helping out with the dig commands now. Don't get Ellie stuck over there, will ya? Rover. Come on, Ellie, dig it out. Don't get yourself trapped on an asteroid. That would be rather silly. Awesome. That is down to a... Yeah, that should be good enough. Yeah, we can, we can build it here. Get rid of those two robots while you're waiting. Can you also disconstruct this? Don't know. No idea if robots can do that. Can you do that, robot? Well, we did really well. I'm pleased with that. That was uh, a lot more work got done than I expected. All right, do we have enough? We go to rocketry. Do we have enough material to build another rocket platform? Out of steels. We need 800. We've got a thousand. Oh, we do have enough. And we're going to try and build it as low as we can then. I think we'll put it there. Should have let her carry on digging those two out. Never mind. Dig that out, please, Rover. Yeah, go and get the materials. And she'll be off to bed. That was one good day's digging. Deliver that steel. 700k more. She can go to bed, let the rover deer deliver it. The water weed seed in here. Ah, oh, that, that might have been a buried item in the rock. Yeah, she's gone to bed. View interior. You're looking a bit green and peaky. Oh, you don't have any rad pills. Oh, crap. Okay. Get your food. Not their clothing, you muppet. Ugh. Ellie. Well, she did, was the suit. I thought I clicked the wrong thing then. Righty, huh? Excellent. She's, uh... Have a lunch. We'll, we'll watch her. It was a bit of micro managey, but we'll watch her just for a minute. And some of my coffees. Oh, where's she going? You ain't got time for that, it's bedtime. Not Lavini. I meant to go to Regilla. Where's she going? Screw up. I should make her come back. Don't run out there with no suit on. Come back. Where the hell are you? Ellie, you still marked as crew. Come on, get your ass back, you idiot. I haven't got a suit on. You're going to get irradiated like crazy. Yeah, I think it's confusing not having her on the proper shift. Sleeping at night. I think after this, I'm going to change it. Yeah, well, what'd you go out there for, you muppet? I think I prefer the rocket control station up there. I will probably move that. When she wakes up, there's only 27 kilos of oxygen left in the suit. No. 
The more she breathes in this room, though, the more it will get packed with uh, 157.7 kilos of oxygen. So we'll be able to stick a pump in here and at least give her a place where she can recharge her suit. You can actually have a tank of oxygen on the rocket and, uh, and pump that through there, through this gas space output port. Right, let's go that most to Ellie. That's your first task of the day. Put your suit back on. Well, she decides to destroy that conductive wire, which she might do. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's go back to... Did the robot do everything while she was asleep? Oh, it's still on um, that mode, isn't it? That should be taken off. Hello? Hello, Ellie? You coming? Yes. We got a minute to realise she had job orders that she could do. Let's now dig through all of this crap as far as we can reach. Where are the robots gone? We can do some work. Build that rocket platform, Ellie. We'll get the rocket moved over there. Oh. We'll land the rocket there. I don't know if rockets can land when they're like waterlogged like this. Does that still allow them to land? I believe so, because yeah, it's no problem. There's no symbol saying like this saying it's underwater. We dig through there as well. And that should enable at least the rover to be able to go down there. a bit higher priority and I think we've got to come through this way to get to this so I'm gonna dig those three tiles away there's no door this side and I don't think it's gonna reveal the room to us unless we go in from this side which is stupid you just dig underneath it I suppose and come up that way but yeah screw it Metal tile, though. let's deconstruct that metal tile. Let's uh, also submit bioscan on there quickly. Oh, come on. You can't unsubmit a bioscan. Now she's got to go all the way round. Yeah, she can't get to there. My stupidity, I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Now you can get through there, but that's useless unless we dig through it. But the most important thing is to get this room opened while we're here. I was going to take the rocket off and land it back there, but there seems very little point at the moment doing that. I build a ladder there, please. That's very important. Robots going somewhere. What are you doing? Picking up granite. Fair enough. Good good idea. Pick up some granite. Just means she's going to stay rather green for a bit longer. Because she's now got to wait for you to bring the bloody granite. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's data banks. They must have fallen out of that when I scanned it. Oh, you should be able to climb down then. The only other job is to um, submit bioscan to this door. So that should be the only thing you can do. Boom! We now have a temporal tear opener which is flooded. Which means we need to let this water out of here. So let's... Uh, what have we got? Let's, let's just use granite because that's what we have. 
let's dig through there. I'm not going to go too low because Mr. Poke Shell here is going to be rather angry by his eggs. So can't you get any uh, any granite there, can't you, Ali? No granite for you to get. Sedimentary rock. Let's um, cancel that and make that sedimentary there. Now you've got something you can reach, right? You should be able to reach. No, you can't reach that. Fair enough. Can now. Once we've dug through here, that should enable her. Yep, yeah, she's gone off to get the sedimentary now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I want to build a tile right there. Uh, let's build a sedimentary tile. That's not a tile. That's not. <laughs> that's a ladder. I don't want a ladder. What well, a sedimentary rock tile. Just there, please. Go do that. I'll let some of this water drain out. And I think I also would like to put a piece of drywall there. That would have been better made as sedimentary as well, I think. Drywall. Just to stop all our gases escaping on it. There's a bloody great big gaping hole over here, but you know. Hey, we got a little bit of gas, haven't we? I think, possibly, maybe. Probably not. Right, that will all drain through there. Do we have anything? What's here? An iron volcano. Uh, more wolframite and another iron volcano. Oh, this is good, isn't it? We've got two iron volcanoes. The twins. So why don't you dig across there like that? That'll do, yes. Give you something to do, won't it? Well done. Little clap. Golf clap. Now that should stop anything from disappearing into outer space. I mean, that would have been the easiest way to empty it, wouldn't it? Dig some of these out and hope that all the water goes into outer space. Now, it's probably going to boil when we take the rocket off. So, yeah. That's not going to be the best, is it? We have to uncover this Thing. So let's give it a uh, lead tile there. We'll deconstruct that one and replace that one. What's the problem with it? Line of sight obstructed. So we have to come and, and dig out this section. Uh, how's that, that going to work? Oh crap, if we do that, we're not going to be able to get down there, are we? We'll need more ladders. We'll use granite this time. Dig that top bit off. Let's uh, prioritise this accordingly. That bit first, that bit second. Then that bit. And they can climb over the rest. Yep. Right, that should, theoretically... That should, theoretically... We've given it some work to do. Let's check on board. View interior, please. She's pooped out all her uh, rads. She lost a hundred rads there. Unequip your suit. Let's have a look at it. Not much. Just a few grams left now. Oh, what's wrong with your food? Or did I interfere with it by uh, making you take your suit off? I think I did. Phrygia, the planet of the fridges. So, yeah. Looks like in Phrygia. Uh, oh yeah, we were qu queuing this up, but I've got like, you know, got to really mullet monitor what's going on here. 
you know, bust through there, but there's water and brine, well, salt water mixing. So that's going to get. Now, if we can dig through here to here, we need to kind of lower this water level. I think we can do it quite good. We could probably bust one of these tiles out as well. Fill that chamber up. This must be um, granite because he can't dig it. There we go. Yeah, he can't dig there. But he can deconstruct these, I think. So why don't we do that? Deconstruct whatever you can reach in there, little robot. Uh, yeah. Oh, crikey, she's up again. I forgot to change her shift. Why don't you, um, why don't you crew up? Go, cool. get back in there. Yeah, Muppet. I keep forgetting she's not actually on the right shift, is she? She's, uh, she's still technically working. Uh, oh, is it morning for you now already? You didn't sleep yet, did you? I don't think she did. Um... But we ain't here to judge. Put your suit on. And uh, let's get cracking. Now, even if her suit is... Um, even if her suit runs out of oxygen, she has to keep running in there. I'd like to just get this patch done. And we'll see what we can get done out of it all. It'll be annoying. Because she'll have to keep running inside to breathe. But if she takes it off with no oxygen, then I don't think we'll be able to get her to put it back on. Oh, we might be able to. It's when it's worn, you can't. We just send her back. We haven't got power here or anything. If we had some power, we could send over some... Materials for her to use. Because they could land anywhere here. It doesn't really make any difference. I think once you've activated the temporal tear. You start getting. Um, oh, I forget what it is. Tungsten. Or something. Are you still flooded? Yeah, still flooded. Line of sight is still obstructed. Well, now you've got to do your work. Because you can't get out until you've done it. Uh, let's just um, cancel these four in case she has to run for oxygen. We'll need to be able to get back into the rocket, won't she? Now, I don't know how much of this we've got to remove. Yeah, you'll have to run back in the rocket to breathe. This is now going to be very difficult. From this point onwards, it's going to be quite tricky, I think. We'll set the robot to dig that one out. It might also help give the water somewhere to go. These poke shells don't care about being underwater, do they? No, don't seem to matter to them. Right, she's just going to get this last layer dug. Yeah, you'll have to run back in. Sorry. It's going to get really tricky now. Can't get any work done here. At least with all the um, when this settles, there's going to be polluted oxygen to breathe. If we can get the water level down lower, we'll be able to breathe something. It won't be very pleasant, but at least it'll be something.
Where is she going? Everything down here should be very low priority. But Ellie has to do what Ellie can do. And the robot will do the rest. Good old robot. Yeah, I don't think we can do it enough to... Yeah, oh, there we go. Temple tear storing zero out of a thousand red pots. Red pots, red bolts, too few printing pods. Oh, we need more for printing pods set up, don't we? Yeah, we do. Well, we're going to put one in here then. Just quick before we go. Mini pod made of granny granite. Yep, you can go right there, please. Boom. Make that a bit higher. This will be our last job, Ellie, and then we're sending you home. Don't panic. Let's see if we can get that um, printing pod made. Uh -huh. Then you can go home. It looks like it's not flooded anymore, so that's the main thing. Yeah, so we need to generate some red bolts here. What's, uh, what's space like? 250 reds per cycle, which means we need a bit of power here. Hmm. But, uh, well, we could just tame the iron volcanoes, and then when they're active, they'll generate power, won't they? And we'll get some spare iron to send home. Oh, we could. All right, mini pod. Three out of five. Don't you like our new mini pod then, huh? Okay. Deliver that last piece, will you? Uh, there's a construction errand on that, so I think I'll let her do that because I don't think the robot can do it. And she can't, definitely can't dig through here. Yeah, you've got to go indoors. Yeah, no, sod it. We're going home. Screw up. Bye, robot. See what you can get done by yourself, little robot. See what the robot can do. We will uh, change our destination and we will go back home. Uh, boom. And we'll just check. Well, that did actually say the correct landing pad. Uh, lander's ready. Begin launch. Bye. See you later. And we're cooking our roveries down here, look. He can't dig all this uh, bleach stone. But he, uh, he can't get in there, I think. No, he can't. Ah. Can you dig the salt out then, at least? I will cancel those orders then. Can't be done. There we go. Oh, cancel that one as well. And then when we come back, instead of landing there, we can land on this one. In fact, I wonder if the robot can deconstruct it. Yeah, he might be able to. It doesn't see why not. Okay, let's check the star map. I want to check our rocket. It's signed up to land at 324. Yeah, that's the correct one. And if we go back to Lavini. Now, she's been going to be having problems because all the time she's going to have to keep taking her mask off to breathe. But I'm not going to bother changing it. I'm going to leave her in her suit. This guy will change the crew. Make sure that it is set to Bubbles. Screw up, please, Bubbles. We have a mission for you. We're going to change your destination. We are going to go to Toasty. We've been on Toasty before, but we're going back for a moment. Okay, that's awesome. Let's uh, wait for Bubbles to arrive. Where are you, Bubs? Come on, Bubbles, where are you going? You've got a mission to go on. You have to put down a uh, portal. You have to build a portal on Toasty. Okay. 
Uh oh, all automatic. Automation for the win. I'm getting to sneeze. I'm not quiet with my sneezes. I think you could probably hear me in Italy. I'm one of those incredibly loud sneezes. Unnecessarily loud. Come on, rocket. I love seeing the rocket exhaust coming up. Look at that. Off you go. Bon voyage. Uh-oh. Something got damaged again. Yeah. That's not working right, is it? The doors got damaged again. You got eliminated. That's strange, isn't it? Why is it doing that? Twice it's done that now. There must be an, an error with the automation. What we probably need is a delay here, so that when the doors open, they don't close again immediately. As soon as the animation starts for them to close, they'll get damaged if the rocket then flies through it. We probably need a bit of delay. We've got our knock gate flipping the signal. But all we need, I think, is our outputs are green and the input uh, continues green for an amount of buffer time. Yeah, I think that will do the job. Put a couple of buffers in here. One, two, and we'll put put two there just to be nice. I would snip this, but the doors will start messing around if I snip it. I'll probably do that anyway. Once these are built. How are you doing on your space station? Can't breathe, even though there's uh, what was it, 155 kilos in here. Oh, let's just take this suit off. Can't let you breathe. Reiki. Yeah, we need the pressure to go up. It won't go up if she's not breathing in here. So, let them build that. We gotta remember to snip these uh, automation wires, otherwise you'll be very confused when it doesn't work properly. So what we need to add is say uh, twenty seconds to it. Let's add. That shouldn't prevent it from opening. It outputs the signal if the input is sig signaling, but it carries on sending green for a bit extra. But it should still open it in time for like the rocket to land or close it in time for the you know if this one detects any um incoming meets your showers and it says that was shut uh that but when the rocket goes to take off and this withdraws and this switches to green to open the doors and that goes red, this will go green. When that goes red, should it stay red for a bit longer? I think, I hope. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? That doesn't make much sense because you can't send us a green, a red signal. Uh, you can send a green signal that does something, but you can't send a red signal. Yeah. It's red because there's no signal. Lack of signal. Yeah. So that's a bit confusing. We'll see if it works. It might help. I'm not entirely sure. Testing is in order. I believe testing is in order. So, yeah. Uh, this looks a bit odd. Limited line of sight. Limited line of sight. There's only a little satellite on. At least they're both being filled now. 
So, in order to um, open that, we've got to fly here and dump a one of those. Oh, look, I see some food in space being fired off. Oh, it's fast. Space Station L just flew past. This little ball is, yeah, you're quick, you're quick. In flight to Grothalin, all automatic. Another bit of food going to feed the uh, hungry tree of doom. What have we got in there? Snazzy suit. Oh, we'll have a snazzy suit there then. Can't eat a snazzy suit, but hey, look at all these dust caps ready to go. There it is, it's just landed. It'll get unpacked automatically. There's no dupe here. Tin opener is working. I can see it going round and round. Deposits the contents into there. Tin as well. Everything. A couple of stacks of bog jelly. Not much. It gets dropped in there, swept up. To the tree of doom. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we should have put a bunch more of these on, shouldn't we? Is there any in here? Disabled now, though, so I don't think it's running. Yeah, there's nothing happening. We kind of need something for the thermal aqua tuner to actually try to cool. Uh, we could try and make it cool down the magma biome, couldn't we? Then it'll be constantly running. And we know there'll be plenty of heat in here for a melting resin for centuries to come. Now let's go back to Fragilia. I just want to see if the robot... That's not, yeah, that's it. He did get it. Oh, he did get it. Okay, well, let's move that steel into here, please. Can you do that? Apparently not. Okay, ro are you um, going to deconstruct? Ah. Well, actually, you can deconstruct these fire poles if you want. Oh, we've managed to drain most of this liquid out. That was pretty effective. Pleased with that. There's oxygen down here with this iron volcano. Not a lot though, is there? Hmm. But if we go deconstruct those two. Yeah, get rid of this stuff. Now, if we need any steel, we'll have to come all the way over here, but failing that, we don't never need to come over there anymore. Nice oh, work, robot. Good job. We've got to leave that ladder there, else he can't get out. But what I am going to try and do at least is go... Sedimentary and run a ladder down. Well, he can't do it, can he? He can't dig it. We'll cancel that bit then. Oh, he can dig through salt, can't he? It was, oh, yeah, 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 he can. Okay. I think we'll have a problem when it gets to this block, which is abyssalite. But other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, just build that. Until you run out of batteries, little robot. I like those robots. They're pretty cool. So, yeah. I just want to check if we've got any blast shots made. There was a whole huge stack of them down there that I made earlier. Yeah, there's loads. Look. There is still a weird problem with them not loading these, um, these meteor blasters. I'm not loading them. 
Meteors that have been blown to smithereens leave behind no harvestable resources. And what's the point in blasting them then? You might as well just screen it all off. Um, get rid of those. Save yourself the trouble of building them, powering them, making the blast shots. Just screen off the top of the map as high as you can go. And then just open the doors when you want to drop the resources in and scan the sky. But I like this new scanning thing. You can really see what your, what your scanners can see now. It's a lot better. Uh, that's nice. I think we, we, we did put these two close together, but they may have changed the ranges on them a bit as well, so I'm not sure. Like this one as well. <laughs> you can see it doesn't have a very good view of the sky, but it doesn't care about there being a space scanner directly above it, which is nice. That still all works. Let's check our star map. How are we doing? We could have told her to go there and grab that arm. Could still do such things. Uh, we've got 13 tiles remaining, so we can we can go to there. Cause oh crap, sorry, that destroyed satellite has got an artifact available. I'm sure it said like it ref refreshed in 60 or 70 cycles, but for some reason, you know. We still have access to it, so whatever. Look, we got Igneous Rock in the machine. Um, problem is, that's going to interfere with our um, our feeding system because that's set to sedimentary now. I'm probably just going to actually um, turn Igneous off in here so it doesn't get swept out. You can just sit in there, I guess. Until we want to build something with it. We'll have to put ladders there so we can reach it. That was our old cooling system for cooling down the food that we were feeding to these guys. But I kind of like this. The food sits up here. Actually, there's no food there. That's not good, is it? Does that mean that that needs to be cycled a bit more frequently? And another 200 units through, would you? What have we got on this one? 200. That just ate um, some sedimentary, but the sweeper hasn't actually put it back in. Seems odd to me, because that's the sweeper's job. Put that in there. Set to sedimentary. That's sediment. Oh, look at this. There's a dupe. Oh, crap. I think we missed it, because it just dragged along. Even though that's on a one, there was a dupe doing it, which is why the sweeper didn't touch it. Oh, that's crazy. So we need... There's polluted water up here somehow. We need to dump a ladder in the middle. Get over there and mop that up before we continue with that one. Uh, we should slowly start seeing more babies in here. And this slowly getting more and more populated. Yeah, we've got 8 out of 8 on both of those now. But hopefully it will start building up. Come on, come and mop it, Devon. You know you want to. Somebody wants to do it. What's in this one? Sedimentary. Sedimentary, my dear Watson. Right, someone's going to mop it. And someone's already taken that away. <laughs> Crikey. They're so desperate for work to do. Get rid of that ladder again so that we don't want them here because we don't want to be able to reach the materials. Uh, if I go reset a mount. Should drop down there. This is full anyway. They shouldn't have access to this. That's locked. That's locked. That's still available but they can't reach it as I know from there. This is all locked because we don't want them coming in from outside. So now we can set that to 200 units. Gonna work? No. 
Apparently not. What have we done wrong here? That's got to go. Uh, like so. You can't see it, but that's disconnected there. Okay, right. Uh, hmm. I was going to join it like... Let's see if this can all move out of the way. Rails behave very oddly. I was going to have this one come along and down, but it's got to go through that, hasn't it? So that's a pretty exercise there. Uh, but you have to have a bridge or something on it, otherwise it won't won't shut won't move. Why won't you come down here? Have I got to snip that off to make you come down? Yeah, I have. Before that starts filling this one up again. Snip it off. We'll put a bridge on it, I think. Make it flow. And once that bit's flown out, well, flowed out, we'll, we'll delete that bridge. Or shall we, actually? Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to change that. I think it would look much better. That's all that. We connected it there instead. Yeah, that looks better. That's a nice straight line. Well, it will be when I do that. Now, the only way to make this bit flow out would be to put the bridge there instead. Go. And then cancel all of those builds. You don't need to do those. And that should drop some 100 units. Um, 220 for luck. Okay. One extra. I think I can live with that. It's not as accurate as I'd like it to be. Yeah. Fair enough. That's, that's looking like it's going to work. The dupes don't have access to this sedimentary. I'd, ri I'd wish there was material there to feed them. So let's up that to 400 per cycle. And run it. All we got is that set to a little pulse each day to reset the conveyor and drop some more food down. Just a case of working out how much food they're going to eat in one cycle. Which I suppose you could actually work out. If you know exactly what they eat, how much they eat. Work out what volume you need that set to. And if it's under 500 units, that's the maximum. Then you just need one of these cycle sensors. If it's more than 500 Less than a thousand, you could just put two cycle sensors next to each other and run them through each other. Trigger it twice. Half the amount. That'll do. Let's check the star map and see what's going on. Uh, has she already landed? No, she's here. Artifact collected. Okay, good. Change your destination and go back home, would you? Uh, rocket platform 324, yes please. And how far are you doing? In flight to Tostilios. Uh, I want to view the interior. We don't have any materials, do we? We've got a little bit of igneous rock and that appears to be... You just... Sticker bombed. You did, in the rocket. I didn't know. You've sticker bombed in here. You're so deliriously happy, Bubbles. Okay. Um, I should have. Uh, unencrypt your... I should have unencrypt your suit. I did. Okay. All right. Let's go back to... See what's going on here. Now there's a little bit of food sat there. There's nothing in this one, though. How much is in here? I think they keep coming in and filling it, which is annoying the hell out of me. Even though it's on a one. There should be a no duplicate activation button. <laughs> you know, dupes do not touch. That would be brilliant. Machines only. But if you set that to sweep only, then the machines won't touch it. 
wrong. You want the machines to do it. Try this one on 300. The other one's on 400. And then we'll try these ones out. Size. When we start getting some dupes in here. Because our level of food is really dropping. We're sending barbecue over to these guys. Um, and if we run out of barbecue, we'll have to start sending them something else. Because uh, that won't be working properly, will it? Alright, what I was going to get these guys to do is run this up through the cold biome and back down. So that's what we're now going to remove this bridge. Somebody want to do that? Somebody want to remove the bridge? Anybody? They've all gone to bed? Oh, they've all gone to bed. It'll be their first job when they wake up. Somebody? I'm going to do this. So I think it's unfortunate with the rocketry that if you if you put a dock by the door of the rocket on the inside of the rocket, you're losing a lot of space in the rocket for a docking system that should have been, in my opinion, part of the rocket setup. If you have to have a spacesuit in order to build a rocket, then um, it should be part of the door system. That shouldn't be taken up with, you know, Storing gas tanks and all that kind of malarkey. Right, let's connect that. Should now flow around here. In fact, I'm going to extend it. Boom, boom, boom. It can now flow through there. This batch is coming out at 56 degrees. While the next batch is being dropped in. 56 degrees sulfur and that is now gonna now this is I don't like this bit I want it to run in the wall up here so let's uh, let's finish doing that while they're busy while they're not busy should I say and then dig out this bit and you can build one two three four one there one two three four there rocket in orbit okay can we drop our rocket here? Do we have enough space? We've got 27 tiles, so no. We need to move that platform down. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, let's check our rocket anyway. Uh, which rocket is it? Venisat, isn't it? Uh, we don't have a... No. Oh well, you're going to have to go back home, Bubbles. You can't do it. Your rocket's too big, mate. Didn't think of that, did I? Go back to the star map. We'll send you home. Abandon ship? No, don't do that. Uh, change destination. Is there anything useful you can do while you're out this way? I want to make sure you can get home. There was two tiles. It won't let me scroll across. There's two tiles there, so we have to be three away from them. Uh, we have to be there, I think. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back home. I think we'll be good. All right, you go there. Oh, you can't even do it, can you? No, don't bother. I don't think there's even... Uh, well, no, there is a satellite dish. Okay, fair enough. I'm second guessing myself, aren't I? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, go there instead. Right, yeah, you're going to there. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, you should be able to examine both of those. Um, he's coming back home. Have we got a, uh, have we got one in one of these yet? No, nobody's grown up yet. 
We've only got a few hatchlings. Own hatchlings. We could make one of these a hatch farm again, just normal hatches, because I think we've got a lot of hatch eggs or something. No, we've not actually. We've got a bunch of stone hatching eggs. Oh, we're good. We're good. We've got these being uh, being run. We could probably actually run two of them at the same time now. We're not so strained for power as we used to be. Let's check the power situation on this wire, though. If we run two at once on the same wire, then we would be strained for power. This one's very strange. What about you? Uh, where do you go? You go to the fish. I need to do all of that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we could run another power line somewhere, but where would we hide the blading thing? We've taken up all the floors. <laughs> all the floors, all the floors. How could we do that? We'd have to snip it off here and run this to another line, which we could bring down through this. No, we can't go through this floor. 850 watts. If we, that's, <laughs> that's not doing anything. That's just going through the floor. Um, right, you know. 1800. Can't we add anything to that? 850 watts. Yeah, we could definitely add these two to this power. In fact, all of this could be added to this. But how are we going to get it through? What we'll do, I think, is if we put a couple of conductive bridges in, or just one there, that would be enough, wouldn't it? We could do two. Do another one there. Then we could snip these off, these... One, two, three, four, five things and add them to this one. And that means we could run probably all four of these at the same time, all the time, until we've built our stocks back up. Because our barbecue is dropping like a crazy. Check the power lines. I think we just did that, didn't we? Yeah, we've done them already. They didn't mess around. They got nothing else to do. Right, so if we snip all of this stuff off, and then we connect it through the top here, and then through there like that, aha! We don't even need this one. We'll just let them build that. Then that can be, well, it'll be more than that when the rest of it's added on. But this has now dropped to 1,200, which means we can at least have, say, let's check. You can be on active duration. Now let's just leave it on all day. That one can stay on all the time. And that one's done some, yeah, that one's, you can see by the little dial on it how far it's through. There you go. That should work. Now come and bring some more. Excellent. Good job, good job. We finally got some um, hatches in our hatch farm. Well, we might have to make it small. They take so long to get there. And he whistles them. Right, let's check the star map. How things are going. 0 0.4, excellent. And adaptable Venus that is on its way over here. We did give it another couple of uh, satellite dishes, so it should be able to run this time. Mm-hmm. I don't think we've been to the ruined rocket, and we definitely haven't been to Russell's teapot. It's just out of range for 10 
you know, 10 there and 10 back again, which is what a petrol rocket can do. Well, that's not by accident. I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. Well, let's, ah, actually, yeah, no, that's fine. I was going to say, let's, uh, let's build that into the wall first, but I think that's fine. We'll just go one more step into the wall. And up to there. But, uh, all this hot material isn't just sort of running past. It's mostly going to be in the wall. Most of the time. Just this short distance here that it's going to be out. And what I might do is cancel that build there. And put a bridge there. So it doesn't put any heat onto these metal tiles here. So we'll go from inside solid tile mostly. In fact, we could double that up. It's a bit unsightly, but... Uh... And yeah, that's better. That'll connect in at the top there. And that'll take over from this. So all this really hot material, 62 degrees, won't be just running through the base. Warming it up. It'll be coming up here. 61 degrees. The second it touches this, should start cooling down pretty rapidly. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. 52, 51. Oh, we might have to wiggle it around in, in this water a bit more. That's still pretty hot. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it's 40 degrees now. Dumped quite a lot of temperature in there. Look at that. It's coming out at 37.5. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Now, I definitely want to build another one of these above it. And add a bit of this uh, to there. So that we can change that to a bit higher instead of there. I think I want four tiles of liquid like this one. We got rid of the bottom one. Deconstruct you and your wire. So that we've always got at least four tiles. Uh, the, the fourth one, 500 kilos, is good. So this one will do a similar thing. So we've always got at least four tiles, but the rest of it will either burn off in here and send it over the so Lavini, or will be dripping into this tank, which is what we started arranging last time. I might even hide this pipe in the in the wall as well. It would make more sense to. I never got the dripper set up correctly. I was going to connect that to that. That connects to there as well as this. And that connects to there and that will be set to just a tiny amount. 1000 grams was the test. And then we'll have... We'll have to automate it. Oh, we did. We put the automation around it. <laughs> Just so that it makes it easier to see. We could have jumped over or whatever. Just to make it clearer. So this will be like, what temperature is this water? If it's above, say... If it's below... No, if it's above 30. Then add some more chill to it. Yeah? Maybe a bit higher than that, because I think it gets to around that sort of temperature. This thing is supposed to pump out at 30. But these plants like it between 10 to 30. If it gets a little bit over, well, who's getting burned? Probably, yeah, Ellie's back. Ellie's back. Back again. Screw up, Ellie. Where are you? Just double check it is, Ellie. Yeah, get back in. It'll be pretty warm and toasty around here until that uh, wears off. Review interior. Yeah, put your suit back on, would you? Thanks, Ellie. Now you can sod off and do what you want to do. Goodbye. Ah, oh. We'll send you off out to do another mission in a minute. We need a, we need another one of those lander things. They're all running to restock the uh, rocket with anything it needs, like rad pills or... Um, oh, there's another bit of food in space. All automatic. Isn't that lovely to see? A little bit of frozen 
bug jelly getting sent across all by itself it will come to the tree feed the tree these are over ripe now so these are gonna bust soon and then the sweepers will automatically load it into the tree and send it off to be fed there's a little bit of slime left 10 tons and we can always send some more over if we want and send some slime over and that will automatically get put in this one because it's still set to slime or it should be all set to sweet legs and slime Even though we made it habitable, well, it doesn't really need to be, does it? Batteries are all still nicely full and nicely kept full. This thing will uh, bump out into space so it'll never overflow. And we've kept, cooled down this pond with polluted water to 26 degrees. We could go a bit lower. Could knock it down to 20. And that'll run that for a bit longer then. They don't mind anything from 5 to 35, so we could potentially knock it down a bit. But eventually this will just start erupting again, and uh, then the ISO resin will flow. Not going to flow very much at the minute. Uh, ISO resin, 1622. Yeah. So, the petrol is automatically refueling, I see, and it's about to trigger the pulse. This should now just give a quick pulse. And that reaches there for five seconds. It's got to at least trigger it for five seconds. And that number one will change to a zero. Oh, quick pulse. And then it's off. What it was doing is this was on all the time. So it was constantly resetting this. It means if another rocket landed at this moment, it wouldn't get any fuel. That would be constantly turning it back off again. Because now we put the pulser in instead, so it just gives a quick pulse. Instead, when it lands, I'll turn it on. And when it gets to here, it gives a big quick pulse to, to, to turn it off. But that's it, then it stops. If another rocket lands now, it'll trigger that to come back on again. And that isn't constantly resetting it to turn it off, which is nice now. That's better. A little bit more complicated than I wanted. A little bit more awkward to explain, but this is the same system we've used in our... It's on its side, but it's the same pulser there to uh, trigger. When this uh, thermo sensor decides it's too cold and it needs too, some more heat, it triggers this, which triggers this filter. So as long as it needs more heat for at least 20 seconds, so it doesn't just sense it every 10 seconds every time this door shuts. Now it's got to be at least 20 seconds. And if that happens, then it sends a pulse. Pulse opens the door, dropping more magma in, which gives it the heat boost it needed. And it also triggers this counter so that we can keep an eye on how many times the door opened. And why? Just wanted to know. Check the star map. Uh... Adaptable Venusat is nearly in location. Only lets me zoom the map to the right if I'm zoomed in. Chlorine and bleach down. Nice polluted ice. Old Wolframite and tungsten. It would be nice to set up a rocket that just goes backwards and forwards mining. It would be nice to, to set one up and find somewhere I want to mine. What I want to do now is power this one, but I want to make it so that if this side is powered, then this side isn't. And if this side is powered, then that side isn't, you know, vice versa. So only one side gets powered at any one time. Now, how are we going to do that? For starters, we would need... 
We'd need one of those um oh, shut offs on both sides, wouldn't we? We need one for each. Uh, I'm not gonna put it too close to there because I think I'm gonna need a bit of space. But yeah, we're gonna need how are we gonna put it in here? Storage bin there that I want to deconstruct. I might be able to fit it in. Put it there, I suppose. That's this power wire. You'd run this power wire up here and it's not going to make any difference. No. We need to run the power through here, I think. And then have the switches there. And have one bit of power running to this. Um epidizer and pump setup so it'll still be running the same amount of power it just switch sides <laughs> now how would we do it we would have to have two of those power things i think we have one say there and one there and run that power line through it like that and that would join this one this i want always powered it's only 10 watts i don't want it turned off because that might be for dripping down here to keep this cool uh, and then this one can just join into that sort of thing yeah active bridge boom and we can snip that off and then these will be run by automation which i'm yet to decide how to do it uh, I think we need knock gates. Um, if that one's on, then that one's off. But how do we power it? How do we tell it which one's which? Hmm. So we need something to say which one do we want to run. Uh, yeah. We could have a height thing. If one up here. If this one's high, then it runs this side. And if this one's high, then it runs this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's a lot higher. So this one could potentially fill up and then all our battery bank would stop working it was a bit of a haste to get that in and if we'd pulled it in this side that wouldn't be a problem because if this filled up it would just block the cool salt slush geezer and it would stop running uh oh i got a movement problem again oh nuts I wonder why it does that. I think I need, yeah, see that works fine. Now when I go to the star map, I can't move the map anymore. Every time I zoom in, it's moving down to the bottom. And I can't make it go back. It's a struggle. Oh dear, that means... I will have to cut the stream very shortly because once he gets there, I can't get the map to move. It always resets after a reload. So once uh, once he gets there, she, they, arrives at the destination, I will have to stop. I've got to keep my eye on this uh, crude oil as well because we did stop one of the uh, mines, one of the wells. What's flooded? That is... Well, yeah, we knew that anyway, didn't we? Submit a bioscan so you can build that door. <laughs> There's a bit more material coming through, I see. Not getting quite as cold as it used to be. I think now we're going to... Snip it there and we're going to run it through the... floor a bit longer. Yep, that way. Oh, crap. Uh, we 
we're going to deconstruct that bit so it can stay in the in the wall a bit longer so it'll be a bit hotter when it gets up here i think our um ad adaptable vinaset has arrived um now oh, she's doing her work maybe we can get to use the map if we do it from here let her scan because she's very quick at it and there was only two tiles to scan I think she's already done it. Let's go. Change destination. Oh, it's just a bit higher than there, isn't it? I think that was the right direction. Oh, dear. It won't let me move the star map. I can't zoom in. If I zoom in, it just goes down. Oh, no. I'm pressing up and to the right, and it just won't go there. Nope. Ah, crap. Oh, well. Something in my game is bugged. But uh, when I transfer my new computer... Uh, hopefully that'll uh, be a brand new, fresh install without all the patches because it'll be just patched straight to the newest version in one go instead of being patched over the time so hopefully then it won't keep doing that I don't know of anybody else that have reported it I haven't seen it reported by anyone else so, automation-wise, how are we going to control it? That one's on, that one's got to be off. So, we would have a water level for this one. Now, we'd have to have two water levels, and then say, well, what happens if they both fill to the same amount? Which one's it going to pick? Hmm, that's interesting. They both filled to the same amount. I'd want this one to take priority because the battery bank is above it, being kept chill by this constantly running. So if this filled up, that would they would all overflow and would not work anymore. We wouldn't have any power. So yeah, I think we're gonna, but maybe we'll keep it in line with this. We'll do that. Let's say. Ah, uh, how are we going to do it? Uh, if either of these gives a positive, then it's got to go through a... That one gives a positive, it's got to turn this one on, but make sure that one's off. Green signal is allow power through. And if that one's too high, that one's got to give this one green signal, but they can't both be on at the same time. I wonder if we could use the... Uh, I never really use the memory toggle. We can't use an ore because if, uh, if at least one of its signals is green, which one of these will be green, any one time, it'll power that side, won't it? Hmm. That's wrong, actually, because this could be lower. And then neither of them would be green. I think that needs a little bit more thought. Thought, which is a bit of a problem at uh, like 30 a.m. when I've had no sleep. Zero sleeps. So, yeah, let's set this thing to drip in here. If that is above 30 degrees, that sensor, I want you to drip a bit of water in, but how much? I want you to go um, 
Yeah, that's always on. See, I don't want it to do that. I want it to say, okay. Sends a green signal. Actually, no, that should be okay. So that goes into there. That's set to just a thousand. We could set it to a, a lot less than that. Let's, um, no, not deconstruct it. Copy settings first. And then connect that one down like so, and then snip that one off. All right. So what's that say? Send the green signal if it's above 500. That should be the same, right? There's a green signal. Yeah, there you go. You can be deconstructed now. Open your bit of automation wire. So how are we doing this? There's a buffer in here. I think that was for that. This system. Yeah. Gonna be. Or I've just deleted the wire that I should have connected. Ah. No, because that goes into there. So as long as that's high enough. And this is the right temperature. Ooh, yeah, we we did it similar to that. So if if the um the heater is on, liquid tepidizer is on. The pump can't be on because it's always on a knot for the pump along with the height of the water level so as long as the water level is high enough uh, if that tepidizer is on then the pump will be off it has to be off the pump is on then the tepidizer is off I want a similar system for that not quite sure how to do that yet that's not popping in my head obvious yet sometimes you can look at a problem and, and really overcomplicate it and other times it's like boom oh come on i really wanted it to work then move no oh come on oh i'm getting there it's still moving to the left. Why is it moving to the left? Come on. Yeah. Nope. All I pressed was uh, tab. And that seems to have uh, helped a bit. I don't know why. Uh, okay, fair enough. Whatever. Oh, nuts. I know what Tab just did. It put us on super fast mode. Yeah, don't want to do that. Has this door been opened yet? No, because it's open from this side, you muppet. Okay. Be careful with those doors. They're quite annoying. Can you move yet? No, can't. Oh, we can go up. And go down. But it certainly can't move. Okay. Back to Lavini. Doors are open. Why are the doors still open? There's uh one about to take off. Don't think so. Shouldn't they be closed? Is something really strange occurring? Yeah, because they're miles away, so it's not closing for that. Um, or opening, should I say. Um, you shouldn't be going anywhere. Where the heck are you going? Let's go to bed. Oi, fuck off. Get out. Out. That's one problem with when you land a rocket. They uh, do tend to do some strange things when you change, when you mess around with the settings. 
Uh, ah, okay, this buffer. This is the problem. The sniff it. Uh, and that one. There we go. Forgot to sniff it. I mean, snip it. Now you can close. There you go. One tiny change. And you can kind of, because you can't see that's connected in there or not. That should be part of the design when you design a game. Make sure things are visible that need to be. Hmm. There you go. That was the problem. We added those buffers. I'm not sure if they're going to be any use whatsoever, but I guess we'll find out the next time the rocket lands and takes back off again. That's set to 20 seconds. Let's copy that to the others. So, in order to um, activate the uh, temporal tear opener, now seems to have the right line of sight. It's odd because they've cleared the line of sight for buildings, but you click on it and it doesn't show you any. I think it will once it's had its thousand rad bolts that it needs. It still says too few printing pods, so we need to build some more of those printing pods on different islands. Even though we built this one, it doesn't seem to care. And we did build it. Okay. We'll come back and land on this one, I guess. Set up something to fire some red bolts into there. Guess we can set up something out here to do that. Doesn't have to be very um what's the word? Doesn't have to you know be very quick. It can take ages to do it. I don't care. Just one of those red bolt things will, will be fine. And where's our robot? Oh, he's been down here. I think all the water just melted over the volcano, so that might erupt. Who knows? There isn't the tile there now. <laughs> it might be overpressured, but if it erupts, it might fill this place with steam. It would be rather exciting if that happens. Uh, can this robot do anything useful? Can you do anything useful? Uh, you can't dig bleach stone, so we can't get you to dig that. If we dig in here, all this water is going to pour out, and this is definitely going to erupt. Uh, we didn't dig enough of this out, so we can't really go in there. Sorry, Robert, I think you're just going to sit there and tell you... Probably already are, aren't you? No. Very close to the flat battery. Let's uh, check our star map situation. Cargo capacity remaining, 27 tons. Well, you could probably nip to there and grab that artifact. Oh, I don't know if we gave you an artifact thing. No, we took it away to give you uh, power for your scanner instead. I remember now. Yeah, we did have one, but uh, we got rid of it. Oh, look. There's another thing. Ah, oh, another bloody mug. Oh, we do have the tornado to put somewhere. That's already been opened. Uh, the opener is, where is it? There. So there's a tornado rock. Where are we going to put a tornado rock, huh? In one of the bedrooms. Let's put it on this one. It'll let me. Select. And we'll put a tornado rock on there and we'll start on this one with an office mug. There we go. Someone should get that pretty pretty darn sharpish. Oh, I thought you'd come to do it now. Nope, he's going for a shower instead. Fair enough. Priorities. Oh, it's gone. Should be in here. There it is. Look, there's a tornado rock. Ah, uh, tornado. I think it's a gramophone, isn't it? Tornado rock. Nice. We've got this little uh, plane. 
Double helix. Usa. Some nice things. Some space. We can't get the... We've got a lot to show you. Uh, we can't get the teapot. It's 11 tiles away from us. We can't get it unless we make our Red Bolt engine. I wasn't planning on doing this series. I was going to, but, uh, you know, we got so much done, so much other stuff done that we're kind of running out of space, and they brought out a new asteroid as well to play with, so it would be nice to play with that and see what that's all on about. Maybe build a big uh, Red Bolt reactor in the next series. Yeah, that'd be fun. But uh, we could build one here, but it just seems kind of like we've built so much on here that there is, uh, you know, dupes deserve a break. Look at this. Uh, that's just finished erupting because this is uh, sitting on the... Uh, on the igneous and it starts to melt the igneous and it's warming it up and if that can get to uh, i think it's 1408 1409 yeah so if it gets to about 1412 or something for that entire stack then it'll burst into magma again we do need to send uh send him down here and start him digging all this out not in any hurry has run very well this series. I'm very pleased with the progress here. Probably running a little bit low. Yeah. 754. We could turn it up a little bit. That door is permanently closed now. So yeah, we probably need to come in and do some work on it. Yeah, it can't get the heat anymore. Getting as hot as it can get out of it fast as it can transfer heat. When this starts erupting, that'll pour down here and touch that window tile and boom, superheated up in an instant. That'll be great. We could tell this thing to make a bit more fossil, couldn't we? There you go, make a bit more fossil. That'll give them something to do. Ain't got anything better to do with their lives. This is completely jammed up with sedimentary rock from the uh, rock crusher. Every time they turn the uh, fossil to lime, you get sedimentary rock. We ended up with quite a lot of sedimentary rock there. Plus all the sedimentary rock we'd been digging out anyway. A little bit there. We can move it to uh, in range of the sweeper. Again, the sweeper's triggering, so there must be some food dropping in. Somewhere out oh, there, that's good. Nice to see. This one does, still doesn't have any food. Hmm. That needs to be set again. I want to see, when I look in here, I want to see a little amount there. It doesn't have to be a much. As long as there's something there, then you know that this is keeping up with what it needs to do. Feed them. But there still aren't any hatches in here yet. Come on. Takes a long time to wind up hatch farms. Uh, how's the barbecue going? Still going down rapidly. Huh. We might have to halt the production of some other foods that require barbecue in order to make sure we can keep feeding our comrades next door. Just murder a few of those guys. Uh, this would work a lot better if we had a supply of polluted dirt to feed it. Oh uh, yeah. Look at all the super coolant we made. Ready to make liquid hydrogen oxygen. Uh, we could do. We could make a liquid hydrogen tank. Instead of making a uh, 
reactor, radiation reactor. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. But uh, we came here to the water planet. We need to come and land back here and stick a pod thing there as well. That'd be nice. But I will do that next episode. I thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for coming. It's very early and I still haven't had any sleep yet. So I'm going to try and get some sleep if I can. And uh, I'll catch you next time. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Um, Possibly you could leave a like or a subscribe. That would be awesome. Watching this on VODs later on on, on Twitch. Hi. Yeah, perhaps you can join me live next time. I thank you all for watching. There's uh, nobody on at this time of day that I know. So I will catch you next time. Thank you for coming. Cheers.